Hey guys, I am joined in the kitchen today by Aiden. Aiden is from KVC, the partners of Wellfest this year, and we're bringing you a delicious, tasty recipe, all part of the Well Good program. So, Aiden, today I'm going to be making, I'm going to be showing you how to make some chickpea satay burgers. Great. So, how are you in the kitchen? Are you good at cooking? Okay, not too bad, yeah. Okay, so yeah. I feel like this is a nice and easy recipe, so it's definitely one I'm going to challenge you to make at home yourself, okay? Okay, okay so what we're going to start with is I have some oats from my recipe, and I'm just going to blitz them into a really nice flour. I'm going to pop them into my food processor. So once your oats have met a kind of a nice chunky flour consistency, I'm going to take this off. Oh yeah. We're going to remove it and we're going to tip them into your mixing bowl. And next up, we're going to blend those chickpeas. I'm going to pop in our rinse and drain chickpeas. I'm going to give them a really nice kind of blend up to a nice kind of smooth paste uh, consistency. So you, you don't want to see any traces of chickpea, um, but you don't want it to be too runny either. So as you can see, my chickpeas are broken down nice now. They're almost like a bit of a ground almond texture and that's exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to grab my spoon and just scoop it out into my mixing bowl. We have our bowl here, we have our blended oats and we have our blended chickpeas. And now we're gonna just add in a few more ingredients to make it that satay burger. So we have some peanut butter. Do you like peanut butter? I do. Are you a chunky or smooth man? Uh, smooth. Oh, <laughs> this is where Aiden and I could have a falling out. Okay, so I'm all about chunky peanut butter, but for this, we are actually using smooth peanut butter. We have some nutritional yeast. Okay, all you vegan guys out there, anyone who lives a plant-based life, you will know what nutritional yeast is. It's something we all have in our press, but for those of you who do not know, it's an inactive yeast um, and has a really nice cheesy flavor. So if you're going for a bit more plant-based recipes, it is a fantastic thing to have in your press to add into recipes. It adds a huge punch of flavor and it is packed with a good few vitamins. So uh, we're gonna pop the, this in as well. Um, do you like your hot sauce medium, hot? Hot. Hot, okay. Yeah. We went for medium steak. So this is our first time eating, so you don't want to like freak you out too much scary, or have yeah. it yeah, scar you. So we're gonna pop in our hot sauce. So what's your go-to recipe in the kitchen? Me, I'm yeah. more like Italian, so. Okay, do you love pizza, pasta? Yeah, pasta, mainly. I should have made you one of my pizzas today. I like burgers well, look, too, Well yeah, look, yeah, we love burgers too, okay, that's good. Um, so lastly, we're gonna just put in a tiny bit of maple, which is gonna sweeten up these burgers and give them that really nice kind of we got some hot and spicy. We have some really nice creaminess and nuttiness from the peanut butter. And lastly, we have a really, really nice bit of sweetness from the maple. So you're gonna use, do the mussels here. You're gonna mix Great. this into a really nice kind of burger mix for me. Okay. So you're a bit of Italian food. So is there one recipe you always go to? What's your go-to lunch, for example? So you work in KBC, so you're a very busy lifestyle. Very busy. Um, and at lunchtime, is there anything you pack for your lunch that's your number one thing to go um, for? What I, whatever I make for dinner, I just make more of when I have that for lunch, so. Number one um, rule, it's like yeah. cook once, eat two, three times. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So. The less work I have to do in the kitchen, the better. Yeah, but in your offices, you do have a really good salad bar and everything, don't you? We do, you? yeah. Yeah, with loads great of different facilities, options, yeah. yeah. So it's quite easy to lead a healthy lifestyle in there. I'm it guessing. is, yeah. yeah, it is, of course. Loads of different options for all the staff. So you're doing a good old work there. The, that is looking like a fine burger mince. So as you can see here, our burger mince is just a nice kind of thick, heavy paste. And this is perfect. And now it's just really time Get those hands dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aiden. This is it. This is it. Look, I'll go in with you, right? So we're gonna make uh, four large burgers here. So okay. you're gonna grab just about two tablespoons of mix, okay. and you're gonna just kind of batter it into a bowl, <laughs> kind of like what I'm doing. Okay. And we're gonna pop it on the tray and just press it down using your index and middle finger into just a simple burger shape. Okay. So this is going to make four burgers. I think it's absolutely perfect because this is something you can make at dinner time and like you said, have for lunch the next day. Yeah. One mix can serve you over four days. Um, so Monday to Thursday, pretty much sorted for your lunch. Do you ever eat out your lunch? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, there's some really nice spots around yeah, your office. Plenty yeah, plenty of places to go, yeah. You're right beside Grand Canal, so there's yeah. loads of options down there too. And are you excited about Wellfest this year? I am. I'm right, really excited to go to see. 
Um, I was at your thing last oh, year, yeah. Oh, yay! So, yeah, it was very good. Go on, Aiden, get in, yeah, get in this into is me. It. Yeah, yeah. Might as well use the time yeah. to promote. And uh, anyone else you're looking forward to seeing this year? There's such a great lineup this year. Yeah, I just can't choose. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll go to Obviously, we, like, Davina McCall's a huge yeah, one coming up. The body yeah. coach back again. Did you see him last year? I did. He was very, yeah. very good. Um, a few people I think you should definitely check out. Anyone who knows knows I'm a huge fan of Jerry Hussey and he's taking over the whole well mind area and he's going to be doing tons of talks across the weekend and he's possibly for me one of the greatest speakers you could ever go see so make sure you check him out. I'm going to be there on the Sunday so uh, I'm doing a cooking demo on Sunday but I will be around on Saturday doing a talk and things like that so you'll find me pottering around probably in the uh, food tent eating <laughs> if you're looking for me. Um, so our burgers are delicious looking absolutely gorgeous so we're going to pop them into the oven for about 20 minutes so they're nice and crispy around the edges and have that nice kind of soft peanut butterness in the middle. Okay so after 20 minutes, we have our gorgeous, delicious burgers that Aidan and I have made here in the kitchen. Um, perfect for a really good meal prep, dinner, everything like that. You're going to try them yourself at home, yeah? Great, of course, yeah. yeah. My favourite way to serve them, I love having them with a salad, a little bit of avocado, some tomato, even in a wrap or just in a tasty burger itself. So Aidan and I have a challenge for you guys this week. We want you to recreate this recipe. And when you do, do not forget to hashtag well good. Am I right? Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget to comment below, let us know what you think of the recipe, and we'll see you all this year at Wellfest.